Hi kids, how are you doing? Right, we're going to do a little yoga class for you guys and gals stuck at home at the moment with your mums and dads. So, yoga is a type of exercise, but rather than get you all hot and sweaty, yoga tends to make you feel nice and calm and relaxed, okay? So, we're going to start off by doing a little bit of a warm-up. And so the first thing we'll do is we'll just lift the shoulders up and roll them back and down. Lift them up and roll them back and down. Or oh, lift them up and roll them back and down. Lovely. All right, now we're going to do this stamping. We'll stamp around. Stamping around or being like um, you know, like a marching. Dun, 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 dun. Now I'd like you to play some guitar, like a rock star. Down, 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 down. Can you do the other way around? Dun, 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 Okay. <laughs> about piano? I bet some of you are learning piano. Do, 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 So you're moving your fingers. You're moving your fingers, move the shoulders, move the legs. And now, of course, you've got to move the bottom. Can you wiggle your bum, please? Wiggle your bum, wiggle your bum. Get your mum to wiggle her bum too. Come on, mum, wiggle your bum. Come on, mum, wiggle your bum. Okay, so we've had a bit of a warm up. So, with yoga, we want to think about the breath, okay? So when you inhale, if you inhale through your nostrils, unless you've got cold, so watch me, watch me. And exhale, so that's the out breath. Let's do it together. Inhale through your nose, exhale. Now we want to think about sort of getting a bit longer than normal your breath, but I don't want you to sort of overdo it. So just think about, let's count to four as we're inhaling. So inhale, one, two, three, four, and then exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Okay, so we wanna think about the breath a little bit when we're doing these, um, these poses, these postures. So the first challenge for you, tree pose. Okay, so you're going to be like a tree. You're going to take your right foot, your right leg up, and you're going to put it on your ankle first of all, and your knees bent. And then you're going to take your hands here, and then you're going to lift them up. Okay, can you do that? So you're like a tree. Your arms are like the branches. Your leg is like the trunk. Imagine you have roots growing down. That's it, good. All right, lovely. So that's the, that's the, the first one. Hands back down. Swap over, take the other foot up, hands here, take the arms up. Now, do you remember we talked about the breath? Think about your inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Well done. Hands down into the heart centre. Now, maybe you can take your foot a little bit higher up your leg. What you don't want to do, please don't put it on your knee, okay? So you can put it below the knee or you put it above the knee. So you can have a go and see if you put it on your thigh. Have a go. Sometimes it, you can wobble. That's all good. So hands here and then up. That's it. So keep your eyes focused on something in front of you. Don't let your eyes wander around. Legs really strong. All right, now let's see if we can sway our tree. Sway the tree. See if you can sway your branches, but not fall over. All right, good. And sway a bit more. And then, oh my goodness. Oh, wee. Boof, <laughs> you can come out. All right, try on the other side. So left foot in. That's it. Arms up. That's it. So the challenge is to stay really still but to keep the breath really um, long and deep. That's the challenge, to stay still and stay steady. But then if you want to, you could just start to sway a bit. Imagine that you're, the wind is blowing and you're... <laughs> so that's a fun way of coming out. But actually, when you come out, when you come out, you do it nice and slowly and carefully. Take your hands down and you just bend your knees like that. 
Okay, so that's tree pose. Well done, you've learned your first yoga pose if this is your first class. So the next pose I'm gonna do for you is warrior. Warrior number two. So there's three warriors. This is number two. We're gonna start with number two. It really doesn't make that much sense, but we're going to. So your legs are wide. So if you turn, you've got your just exactly like, like I am, and then turn your right foot out like that, and turn the back foot in a little bit. And you want a straight line between this heel and the middle of the back foot if you can. All right? Woo. Bend the front knee. So this knee is bent. We don't want it to be too far bent like that because otherwise it's gonna to be too much pressure. We want the knee just to be above the heel. So straight line, knee to heel, if you can. And then you're gonna take your arms out to the sides like this, okay? Now what you might happen is this back arm might start to go, oh, we don't want that, we want it straight up. And then you're looking towards your right hand. So you can see why this feels like a warrior pose. It's strong, it's strong on the legs. It gets us really strong. It, it works our um, thighs. It works our shoulders and our arms and you keep the breath steady and smooth. Warrior number two. And you could even shoot an arrow here. So you could bring your back arm, so your left arm forward onto your right. You could pull it back and then you could boom, there it goes, your arrow could go. All right, and then let's swap over. So go to the other side, your left foot turns out, your right foot turns in a bit, you bend that knee. Your hips are facing, so hips are here, facing forward, arms are up. And again, you're just gonna turn your head. And then maybe you see something that you're going to send your, your arrow of love to. So we don't, in yoga, we don't deal in fighting. We just deal with being peaceful and loving and calm. So let's think about our arrow of love. We're going to take that hand forward, you're going to pull it back, inhale, and then off it goes. Wonderful, and then back to centre. That's it, good. Roll your shoulders a little bit, walk your feet in. So you've done two poses. You've done a warrior pose and you've done a tree pose. Now let's do a little froggy pose. So bend your knees. So if you take the um, feet, the heels together, you're bending down like this. So you're in a little froggy. Your fingertips are on the floor. All right. So first thing we can do is stay in the pose for a little bit. So just stay here for a moment and sink down a little bit. And then think, oh, does it feel all right? And if it feels okay, take your hands now into a little prayer, sink down a bit further, use your elbows to press the knees back. Breathe. So again, remember, when you're in a pose, a posture, you're breathing deeply and you're staying nice and steady. But, we can also have fun. So if you imagine you were a frog on a lily pad and then you wanted to take a little bit of a jump, that's it, good. And then three, two, one, jump. Back down, three, two, one, rip it. <laughs> that's it, good. Well done. Okay, now let's come back. So now we're on the floor. I'm going to do another little pose. We're going to do a candle pose. So we're going to lie down on your back. You're going to take your legs up. And I want you to imagine you're a candle. So your legs are the candle. And you might get your mum to just light the candle, which is the toes here. So see if she can light it for you. Like that. We can do that with my match. And then you're going to inhale and exhale through the mouth and see if you can blow your candle out. Inhale, exhale through the mouth. One more time, inhale and exhale. Good. And then you're going to bend your knees, bring your feet down onto the floor. So your feet are apart, they're about same, not, not the width, if you've got a mat, it's not quite as wide as the mat, they're underneath your knees. 
arms down by your sides, and you're going to come into a bridge. You're going to make a bridge with your body. So you're going to lift your hips up. You're going to keep your arms by your sides. Make sure that your neck feels okay. Don't want to shorten the neck in any way. Lift up your hips. And you can see you've made a little bridge here. Press into your thighs. Breathe steadily. So this again is really good. It's good for your back, it's good for your legs, it's good for your thighs. And then we're going to exhale, lower back down. Bring your knees in towards you. Just have a little rock. And then you're going to rock backwards and forwards. So inhale and exhale, come forwards. Inhale. Exhale forward. So this is the fun part. Inhale. Exhale forward. Inhale. Exhale forward. Brilliant. And then legs out in front of you. And we're going to make a bit of a sandwich. So if you imagine that your legs were a bit of bread and that your chest and your back was another bit of bread, we're going to put some filling in your sandwich. So you want to decide what do you like in your sandwich? Do you like peanut butter? Do you like marmite? Do you like cheese, egg, what do you like? So do you like butter? Do you have spread on it? So if you do, then just put whatever you have onto it. Maybe get your cheese, maybe maybe have some avocado. I don't know, it's up to you, whatever. And once you've got all that ready, we're going to inhale, we're going to straighten out the back, nice and tall, and then exhale, you're going to come forward and make your sandwich. If you can reach your feet, you can hold your feet, don't worry if you can't. And if you need to bend your knees, that's okay. And then once you're there, you're going to stay there. So now you are a sandwich. Is it making you feel hungry? Take a few breaths. So we're stretching out the backs and the legs here, we're stretching the spine. All right, that's enough, isn't it? Now it's time to eat sandwich, isn't it? So inhale, exhale. And then if you want to eat it, oh, 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 mm, delicious. <laughs> All right, good. Well done, everybody. Okay, we're going to do one more pose. This is fun. Well, I hope it's fun. So take your knees out to the side. Get your fingers and wrap them around your toes. Now, just look behind you and check that you're not going to hit. If you fall over, I don't want you to hit your head or anything like that. Okay, so make sure it's clear behind you. If you can get someone to stand behind you to make sure that you don't fall over. You're going to just come up so you balance like this, yeah? Balancing. A bit like we sort of did earlier a bit, I think. Okay, so from here, we're going to see if we can take our legs to here. Can you do that? You're balancing. And if you can do that, can you do that? Don't worry if you can't. Might be like that. Might be like that. Doesn't matter. Keep the breath moving. Remember to breathe deeply. Well done. And then bring your legs back in. That's it. Bring your knees in. Squeeze in. Little ball. Very nice indeed. Well done. And then to finish off our yoga um, session, we're going to cross the legs. You might want to sit on a cushion. You can if you want. You take your thumb and first finger together, make a circle. You're going to straighten the arms out. You close your eyes. And we're going to count the breath. All right? So we're going to do it together. So closing the eyes now. Remember we've been making the breath a bit longer. So let's do it. Inhale and exhale. Now count one. Inhale, exhale, count two. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, four. Now stay with it yourself and count all the way up to ten. So carry on from five.
when you're down on your back, okay, you're going to make everything really tense. So make your hands into fists, lift your legs off the floor, lift your back off the floor, make your face like really small, really grumpy, and then just let it go, like that. Okay, so do that again, tense everything up, squeeze everything, squeeze your bum, squeeze your legs, make your face tiny, and then breathe out, ha. One more time, ha. All right, now, eyes are closed. Now, imagine that you are lying on a magic carpet. What colour is your magic carpet? Is it patterned? Has it got lots of different shapes on it? Has it got lines on it or diamonds? Is it bright colours? Is it gold? Is it silver? What does it look like? Remember, it's magic. You're lying on your magic carpet. And you think to yourself, I want to go to the most beautiful place in the world. So you say, magic carpet, can you take me to the most beautiful place in the world, please? And you start to feel the carpet move. It splutters a bit, hasn't been used for a while, so it needs a little bit of warming up. And then you start to lift up. And before you know it, you're high up in the air and you're swooping through trees and up into the clouds. And it's really beautiful. Every time you look down, you can see beautiful earth beneath you. You can see the sea and you can see islands, and you can see palm trees, and then you can see mountains, and you can see forests, and sometimes birds travel with you, and you feel really, really, really like you're in the most amazing, amazing place. You're so lucky to be on your magic carpet. And then you realise that your magical carpet is starting to come down and is about to land. So you get yourself ready to land. And when you land, you realise you are in the most beautiful garden you've ever been in. There are flowers all around you. They're all different colours. And the smell of the flowers is so fragrant and beautiful. And you can hear music. It's really lovely, calm music. It's like tinkling bells and then there's pipes and really soft and relaxing. Beautiful. And you look around and you can see your most favourite things there. All the things that you love to do are in this place. And all the people you love are there too. It just seems the most magical place on earth. And as soon as you arrive there, you feel really, really happy and really content. And you know that Everything is right with the world. You are perfect just as you are. You feel really, really, really content, really happy. And you play with your friends and cuddle your parents or your carers. Have a really, really lovely time. You do some dancing, some singing. You even do a little bit of painting. 
and you see magical things. Magical, magical, magical things and amazing creatures. And everything is peaceful. Everything is happy. And then you know it's time to come back. So you say, thank you so much. I've had such a lovely time. And you get back onto your carpet and your carpet takes you back. through the clouds, through the skies, over the land, until you realise you're back home. And then you realise that actually your magical place with all the things you love and the people you love, they're right here. And they're right here inside your heart. you feel really happy. You start to move your fingers and your toes. And then you come up when you're ready. And take your hands into the heart centre. This is known as Namaste, which means I see the divine in you. I see beauty in you. So well done, everybody. I see the beauty in you. Have a lovely, lovely day.